and welcome to Compass 101. I'm Carolyn, a naturalist with the Mountains Recreation and Conservation Authority. Today, we're going to go over the fundamentals of a compass, which include the basic parts, how to hold a compass, and the simple steps to follow when using your compass. Now, you might be wondering why you need to know how to use a compass in this world of computers and GPSs. The simple answer is batteries can die, and clouds and canyons can ruin your GPS's ability to track satellites. So with all the navigational tools out there, you can have a lot of fun on the trail, but knowing how to use a compass can be a real lifesaver. There are various types of compasses, but today we're going to use a compass most people are familiar with, the base plate compass. The basic parts are the direction of travel arrow, out here. I like to call it the direction of go arrow, so that I can call it the dog, since I always follow my dog on a walk, and you will follow this arrow on your walks and hikes. The next part is the dial, here. It rotates freely, so you don't have to be afraid you're going to break it. It was meant to spin. You will notice the little N on the outer rim, which stands for north. And many will have a W, S, and E for the other cardinal points. The numbers are the various degrees. As you spin the dial, notice the arrow that points to the N, as that will be called the shed, as it looks a little bit like a small shed. Last, but most important, is the needle. This is what points to magnetic north and most, if not all, will be colored red. We can call this arrow that bobs about freely in the compass casing, Fred. Those are the parts. Now, how to hold your compass. Remember, north is never up in the sky, so hold your compass nice and flat. That will allow our needle, Fred, to point towards north. Also, since compasses work off the Earth's magnetic field, never hold it near a metal object that will throw things off. Now, the simple steps on how to use a compass. First, point your dog, the direction of go arrow, away from yourself and hold it level. Second, turn the dial so that the direction you want to go lines up with that cleverly named direction of go arrow. For example, I want to go west, so I'll align the W up with the dog. Now remember, the important part is to turn yourself, not just the compass, until our red needle, Fred, lines up with the north facing arrow, the shed. or put Red Fred in the shed. Once Red Fred is in the shed and you've turned yourself, not just the compass, you are now facing west. Congratulations, you've just begun the exciting journey of how to use a compass. You're well on your way to adventures in your local neighborhood, park, and maybe even further. I'll look forward to seeing you out on the trail with your trusty friend, the compass. <laughs>